Hi, this is Melissa Dawson, host of LPTV. Today is April 15th, Tax Day, and we will be interviewing former presidential libertarian candidate Bob Barr. All right, well, as we are here on April 15th, Tax Day, uh, can I ask you how much did you pay in taxes last year? Uh, you can, but that's a private matter. Uh, the bottom line is I paid too much, way too much. Uh, the fact of the matter is that no matter how much any individual citizen in this country, taxpayer, pays, they're paying too much because the cost of government is so far in excess of what it ought to be, what the citizen legitimately ought to be paying for in terms of legitimate government services that every one of us, you, me, everybody in our family, we all pay too much. Agreed. Uh, there are hundreds of rallies happening all over the country today with the Tax Day Tea Parties. Why do you think people are speaking out now more than ever this year? I think people are speaking out now more than ever before, for one thing, because the Libertarian Party is getting the message out to the people. Uh, There's a Libertarian Party that really first came up with the idea of a tax protest day on April 15th uh, that began this series of rallies that all sorts of people are jumping on that bandwagon now, which is good. You know, we're glad they're doing that. But I think what's, what has really caught people's attention is not just that it's April 15th. April, April 15th comes every year, and every year people pay taxes and they get upset by it. But I think what's different this year, this April 15th of 2009, is the fact that the current administration has moved so far, so quickly, so proudly toward dramatic increases in government spending and national debt that it has opened an awful lot of people's eyes that might have overlooked it before. It's that realization that we are going so fast hurtling that, down that road of government excess, government spending, government debt that has caught a lot of people's attention who in previous years might have sort of glossed over it. And to that point, most Americans were not behind the stimulus bill, yet our elected officials chose to pass it anyway. Do you think this issue is really what is waking up Americans to where our tax dollars are really going? It's the, the stimulus bill, the bailout, the continued excess of the government. Absolutely, uh, the, the stimulus bill that a majority of members of Congress uh, and a majority of members of the Senate voted for. Again, following on the heels of this process that was started in the prior Bush so-called Republican administration uh, with the, uh, the bailout. Do you believe that Americans should be forced to pay income taxes? I think Americans need to realize that there is a cost to government. We have to have a national defense and it has to be paid for. Uh, so yes, there is a legitimate uh, basis for a system of taxation that people who take advantage of those necessary services of government, such as a national defense, need to pay for. Uh, but uh, the income tax, uh, is it necessary? No. Uh, there are better forms of taxation, such as a fair tax that some folks uh, prefer, for example. Uh, but we're not going to all of a sudden do away with the income tax. We're not going to all of a sudden do away with all of those things out there that we as libertarians would like to see done away with. But what we can do is we can start the process as we are doing of opening people's eyes to the tremendous cost of government, the excess of government, the 11 more, almost, uh, almost approaching, I think, $11.5 trillion national debt, which has increased, uh, I think, 17% just in the last year alone, uh, far in excess of, uh, of any reasonable increase, uh, as if the debt in the first place were reasonable. Uh, so there is, there is a, a legitimate case to be made that Americans should pay something for the necessary cost of government. But what we need to start doing is starting to significantly begin the process of cutting back that cost of government so we can dramatically start lowering taxes and then move to a better system of raising revenue for necessary government programs. How has the income tax shaped the lives of Americans? It's become the tail wagging the dog. Not only does the size of the income tax dictate how much money people can spend, and they have to factor that into their family budget, the same as it's factored into a corporate budget, uh, for example, 
but uh, it has become uh, the reason why many businesses engage in certain, uh, in certain practices. Uh, it has become the reason why some Americans uh, decide to contribute or not to contribute to certain charities, depending on the, the deductibility rate uh, for that. Uh, and that should not be the case. The system of taxation, the system that we have in this country, or that we should have in this country, to pay for government services should not be the economic tail wagging the dog for either the family budget or the corporate budget. budget. Yet it has become that. It has become so complex, so cumbersome, so unfair that only uh, the big corporations can really manipulate it and have the resources to seek certain advantages. It's why the average American, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's why the average American, for example, uh, finds it very difficult even to simply fill out the tax forms they, because they are so complex. That's not the way it ought to be in America, in a country that was founded on notions of economic freedom and free enterprise. And don't you think that, do you believe that increased taxes has really kind of led to the erosion of the American family, forcing, you know, both the mother and father to work within a home just to be able to afford their income tax rate? The, the, the fact that our taxes are so high, not just the income tax, for example, but also the, uh, the so-called death tax or estate tax and property taxes, and then you have huge sales tax and special taxes. Uh, I stayed at a hotel in Washington, D.C. last night, and you know, they say, okay, this is the rate where you're staying, uh, but then you go to check out and you find out that it's uh, you know, another $25 here, another $10 here, they even tax you for parking your car at a hotel nowadays. Uh, so it's not just the income tax itself, but all these other taxes that are having a tremendous detrimental impact, not just on American families, uh, but also on the millions of small businesses out there, the mom and pop businesses that are the backbone, should be the backbone, driving our, our, our economy. Uh, they largely are not able to do that anymore because of the heavy burden of taxation.